Greetings and welcome to Manufactoria 2022. I'm Catherine of Sky, and this is a fun little uh, puzzle game which involves um, pathing and, uh, and conveyor belts. <laughs> and it's a little bit similar to the donut game that we uh, played the other day. And uh, it looks fun. It's got a lot of different features that I think you might find fun. So again, it's called Manufactoria 2022. I'm not really sure why we have this menu called Cra Cam's Craft Robotics, but we are a robot designer who's making these things in our basement, sort of. Last week, I got fired. Department wide streamlining, they said, no hard feelings, and that was that. I didn't know what to do. It wasn't like I could just follow my childhood dream and start making toy robots in my backyard shed. Or could I? Unless... Yup. So, Cam's Craft Robotics. I couldn't believe it. After years of planning and dreaming, I, little Cameron, was building robots. It was a small start, but someday, with persistence and dedication, this could be the third best robot shop in the metropolitan area. <laughs> That that's some uh, some reality check right there. We're not going to be the best. We're going to be the third best, right? So we start off with nothing bots. There we go. Um, I started by making robots that did exactly nothing. I could sell them as paperweights, pet rocks, uh, avant-garde decor. The possibilities were endless. So we're going to click to enter here. Um, all right. So this is our playground here. We can press escape or click on the construction grid to start building. Now, um, you start off with belts and we can press S to change the direction of the belt. As you see, I'm pressing each of the buttons in turn. It's recognizing my keystrokes, uh, but what we just need to do is take it to the exit and then we press the run button to start the program and there it goes. Now. The one thing that I kind of would wish for in this game is that all belts moved all the time, but they only move when there's something on top of them. <laughs> all right, so robots are usually scary and dangerous. Battle robots, giant industrial robots, job stealing robots. Those are definitely scary. By being totally harmless, these nothing bots were already way above average. Great start. Oh, I need one thing, I think. Uh -huh. Sorry, I just had to start my little timer because I, I, I have one screen on the laptop and uh, obviously this window is above every other window so I can't see the, the recording time. So I set up my little phone uh, to notify me. All right, uh, I, I couldn't believe it. After years of planning and dreaming. Oh, wait, we already said that. Right, never mind. We were being dramatic again. So we're going to go to stamp bots. Click to enter. The only way my robots would do anything was if I programmed them, stamping symbols onto their tape. For my first program, why not a robot that stamped other things? All right, so we are introduced to this new bar on the bottom that gives us a goal of how we want to stamp things. All right, so what we want to do, program the robot by stamping red, blue, blue onto its tape, then produce it to the exit. That's a very strange translation. So we're going to press R to change to this thingy. And then once we have this, we can choose the directions as well. So we can either go red or blue. So let's do, um, we're just going to go down with red. I think we have enough space to get to the exit. So red, then we change to two, blue, blue. That is our requirement. It's also listed on the bottom and we can press run and we see the progress on the bar there as the robot just goes into its little hole. With the press of a button, my robots would pop out of a stamp and go wild on a paper wall or whatever service was in front of them. The kid who bought one told me it looked great on social media. Not my area of expertise, but hey, my robot worked onward. So now we are given two opportunities. One is a maze bots and one is flautistry. Now I learned something about my wonderful uh, Matthias. He is actually an expert flautist, which uh, to non-orchestral people or people who are not familiar with the terms of music means he plays the flute really well. And he does. <clears throat> he does. <laughs> he absolutely does. Um, so anyway, um, could a robot truly create art or music? 
this is actually up for debate right now and there's some bo robots making interesting things um, philosophers have debated the question for years uh, after I found an old flute in my garage, I popped it into a retractable compartment, added an air compressor, and got ready to find out. Okay, so we're going to figure out what to do next. Um, we are now given a new pipe. Sends robots through itself in a straight line. That's a very strange terminology, but basically it is a, 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 a cross pipe through which it's not a conveyor belt because conveyors only go one direction. This can just kind of go across through and it sort of shoots it through the pipe, right? Uh, and as you see, it's across. Now, we need to go this pattern of stamps. It's actually very, you know, uh, explanatory, self-explanatory here. We need to use a combination of both pipes and the conveyors to get this done. So the first thing we're going to do is go downward uh, that is our first uh, action. We're going to get the red symbol, then we're going to go for blue. That's fine, but the exit hole is here, so we therefore definitely need a cross, whether we want to or not. It is there. So now we have blue, then we go red again, and that's clearly going across this way. Again, we need a cross. Now we need a thingy, because we need to turn to the right. Uh, and then we go across again, and this obviously is, has to be another cross, Let's press X again there, and what is it, Z? There we go, and then down to there. We don't even need to look at this uh, this thing. In fact, I didn't even realize this existed when I practiced this game until uh, a couple levels from now, actually. Uh, so yes, let's go ahead and run the program and you'll see how these pipes work. You see, they just kind of go through. Alas, we are not privy to the music this thing apparently makes. I don't even know why there is this story component to this, because we don't actually have any fluting going on. Uh, so, delighting young and old alike, these robots use traditional flutes after the style of the Austrian village of Wintersperling to pipe a variety of merry tunes. I punched up the description a bit so I could sell the thing. Pretty good, huh? I wish we actually had some music to go along with this. Um, but we cannot go to the next thing until we complete this thing first, which is a maze bots. So, looking for more complex challenges for my robots, I settled on solving mazes. It it'd really test my programming skills. Plus, they look so funny rolling around and bouncing into the walls. Yes, of course they would. So now we are given um, this. Actually, this is where I found out that they had to be in order because I thought, well, let's just start from an end point and then do the pattern. I was like, okay, let's start here, go up and around and go around like this and end there. That does not match the pattern. It does not. So F is our robot initiation point, And what we need to do here is find the pattern and how it goes. And if, you, if you're paying attention at all and not listening to this video to fall asleep, you will have realized that it is already in place. We need blue, red, red, which blue, red, red, and then we need blue and red again. So let's go ahead and get this going in the proper direction. Let's get our Z for our points that we go down, down, and then right, right, up, up, left, uh, down, and then into the goal. There we go, run. There we go. Moving right along. Very nice, very nice. Clonk, we are there. Turned out to be easy to make a maze-solving robot, but hard to make an interesting set of mazes for it to solve. Does anybody remember the island or the castle of Dr. Brain, where there was that one programming challenge? I loved that. That was my favorite part of the whole dang thing. Was it castle or island? I don't remember. It's one of the Dr. Brain things. We're, no, it was the castle, I think. Unless the castle was on an island. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I loved that because it, it it made you think ahead in many steps. A bit like chess, but I never gravitated towards chess. But it was very interesting where you had to solve a maze and imagine where it was going. And God help you if you don't have an imagination. But 
it was interesting to see which way it would go in your head. My my challenge for myself was to get, it was the third one where you couldn't, it didn't show on the screen where the robot was going because some of them had this like practice thing where it would show up, down, left, right, whatever. But the third one did not show you. Uh, it was just, you had to have it in your head and I enjoyed that the most. I always challenged myself to get it correct on the first try. Watching the robot wander, I considered repurposing it as a cleaning tool, like a mop or a vacuum, but who'd want something like that? You know what, I don't have one, and Matthias does, and I'm like, you know, that's pretty useful. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm thinking about getting one. Factory reset. Oh yes, and if you have a recommendation, do let me know. Uh, all right, so here we go. Factory reset. Good news! I was starting to make sales. Bad news, one of my robots got returned. I couldn't afford to just throw it away. Could I reset and reuse it? So, we have new items. These are very confusing. I, I, at first, it's like, the others seem to be very self-explanatory. Like this is robot creation. That is robot deletion. Or robot returnation. Return oh, that's a bad word. Anyway, these are weird. Left-facing scanner. Okay. If there is a red or blue at the start of the tape, meaning this programming tape, right? So notice we don't have a goal tape, we have a start tape, right? This is what's already programmed onto the robots. If there is a thingy at the start of the tape or the next symbol that it's processing, this removes it and sends the robot in the matching direction. Otherwise, it sends the robot straight out. So if we put down a bit, let's go to the right from here. Okay, it's going to the right. Let's do a Q. Okay, so this thing looks like this. It's weird. And the other one is just the opposite directions. The, the blue is on top and then the red is on bottom. So if it has no symbols, it will go straight. But it does not have no symbols. It has red and blue. So the first one on the tape is red. So it's going to come out above it's going to go to the left when it comes out so let's go ahead and put a, a thing to keep it moving straight forward because now we have a blue symbol to deal with let's go ahead and use the same the very same one so it will go to the right now and then again it's uh, nice and safe to put one of these down I mean, we don't have to but uh, in fact let's not let's let's change that let's go t to delete and take it off so now we have this and we have a red symbol next we want to use exactly the same one and we turn it downwards okay so red will go up or to the right to the right it will go or to the left from the robot's perspective on the right on the grid i should have done this right side up maybe or is there a right side i don't think there is one anyway v we can pick V to use our exit. Now, this should work, we hope, but we need to test it and try because we might have messed up the imagination. Okay, red removed. And as you see, the beginning of the tape gets processed, the symbol falls off, and then we go forward. Did I really have to tell the customers this robot was refurbished? Maybe I could just call it extra loved. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so then... We go to Lullabot. Hmm. Okay, let's try this thing. My friends told me about their kids crying and screaming at night, and it sounded like a real hassle. Instead of waking up to deal with them, what if a robot could gently sing the kids back to sleep instead? You know, there is another option, which Nexila continues to remind us of. Cats, not kids. And you know what? I agree. I like cats. Uh, kids are messy and loud and... Yeah, they increase my headache significantly, so I'm not a fan. Anyway, what do we got here? Replace all 17... Holy fuzzy cats. So all 17 reds with blues, then produce. This is interesting. This looks terrifying. I wonder... I wonder if we can do something interesting with... I'm going to try something, okay? I'm going to try a thing. We're going to try an experiment because there are not 17 squares, right? And we need to we need to do several things. All right, so we have... If it's red, if we have a red, if we want it to go to the right, okay? 
Oh, wait, we can't do that. Let's do this instead. We need to, I want to move the, this one there. Okay. So if it's red, it goes to the right. And it removes a red thing. So then we need one of these, a two, down. Uh, can we do that? Yeah, we can do this. I think we can do this. Z. And then we go left. So every time it sees a red, it's going to remove it, go to the right, get stamped with blue, and then move to the left. And then it's not going to work anymore. Um, no, because the tape is going to have this, and only when it has blue at the very end, when it's replaced all of them, then we can have it go to the exit. So this should work. Let's try this. I don't know if it is. But, ah, it is working. Look at this. We're clever. We have done the thing that is needed. This is perfect. This is fantastic. I love how the time thing knows exactly how long it's going to take even before it's taken the time. Of course, it's a computer program, and of course it would know, but it's um, it feels like predicting the future a tiny bit, does it not? Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> there we go but yeah having a repetitive task like this is most mo most bestly done no that's a terrible phrase do not use that ever please it is best done when you can have a repeating loop a set of uh things there we go oh <gasps> no oh no huh okay okay it didn't quite work because look what happened we did not have the extra blue thing at the end we needed one more so what we need to do okay is get rid of this okay back all right it's fine it is fine do not worry or panic all we need is an extra blue here up and then we have a v let's run it again so can we just go there, please? Ha, oh, look at this. You can actually skip. That's quite funny. What does fast forwarding do? Oh, it's just faster. Boom, we did it. That is nice. The Lullabot demo went great. But my friends politely declined my robot. They'd rather deal with their kids. Really? Why? I, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. Someday, everything would be done by robots. Why not start now? I mean, especially if their kids are unreasonable and need to be just... I mean, I guess there's a kind of bonding moment if you're singing your kids to sleep, but there's also the whole, like, you know what? Put on a YouTube video to read them a story at night. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. I think there are some tasks that can be automated and some that are definitely better for emotional bonding and all that sort of thing. It's funny because my parent, my mom, especially read me stories at night, and um, I don't actually remember her reading any of them, but I, I remember she did it. Okay, so going to the robot factory, that's where our next. To my own surprise, I was selling enough robots that they could be more than a hobby. This could be a business. So I made a few calls, well, a lot of calls, and found investors who liked my robots enough to give me a very large loan. Let's see, last chance loans. Oh dear, oh dear. I used half the money to buy an old factory. The rest I used to hire people to make robots. He must have had one impressive business plan. Because, you know, like, who gives people a huge loan when they're just starting out? I'd need big profits before my investors came calling. But how hard could that be? Really? Hmm. Okay, I just got an achievement called Going Pro. Fantastic. So this is, oh, so, oh, let's see. With a freshly rented factory and a frankly alarming amount of money in the bank, there would be no more locally made, artisanally crafted toy robots. It was time to build an industrial, on an industrial scale. Time to get serious. Failures, okay. When producing robots en masse, there would be failures. I knew there was only one solution. These robots must be destroyed, melted, crushed, reduced to their base components. It was rough, but I was in business now and I couldn't show weakness. What I don't understand is, 
First of all, this is in the wrong order. First of all, they should be taken apart and items reused that can be reused and the rest can be crushed and then melted. Okay, what do we got here? We have a new thing called a junker where rejected robots go. So, input. Robots programmed with thingy thingy or nothing. Three robots or tape. Okay, goal. Junk robots that you enter your assembly line with an empty tape. Toss them into a fire. Accept the test sending them to the exit. Okay, so what we'll do... Oh, wait, accept the rest? Oh, sending them to the exit. Okay, so if they have this or this, uh, then junk, right? Oh, empty tape. So if they have a program, we want them. So F, let's start there. Let's start in the middle. Start there with robot, okay? And then we have one of these thingy thingies, right? This. So, oh, uh, mm, yes, I see, right. So we're gonna, I, I don't know, can we have more than one exit? Yes, we can, okay, so this is made easier. I thought we'd have to cross over to the other side if we couldn't have um, one more than one exit. And then these go to the junker. Let's try this, this should be easy. Okay, success. Before, whenever a robot broke, the money came straight from my own pocket. Now investors were footing the bill, and they would tolerate a heck of a lot more in the way of losses than I could ever afford before. I could toss robots away on a whim! What a thrill! Really? I don't feel that way about when I make something. Okay. Next. I was better with machines than people, so for my company's first big project, a robot that managed hiring sounded perfect. Just give it a job opening a pile of resumes. It'd pick the... Uh, go back! Night! Oh, I forgot. All right. So, the... Uh, eh? Okay, except robots that enter with double blue at the start of their tape, sending them to the exit to junk the rest. So we need double blue at the start. I guess we don't have to check for the rest. It just says here, look for double blue. Okay, that's fine. Let's go there. So let's start here. Go up. And we want to say if this, go to the right. Again, go to the right. And then double blue goes to the exit, right? That's what we want? I believe so. And then the others... Let's be a little bit elegant about this, shall we? Let's go Z. Oh no, we can't do this, can we? We have to move the whole thing over. Can we just... No, I guess not. All right, never mind. It's fine. We'll fix it. We will fix it. Do not worry. Do not panic. I was thought I would be a little bit, you know, better. Nah. Who needs to be better, right? Double blue goes to the exit. And the rest shall go into the junker. So we're going to be elegant about this. And instead of using a million junkers, we're going to do this. Yeah? Okay, there we go. Run. Boom. Wow. Success. Wow, that fast forwarded automatically. Kind of happy because there was like, I don't know, hundreds. 200 or something? In retrospect, I was not the best person to judge how well the picker worked. I did just put resumes in front of job titles, though, which I figured was good enough for me to greenlight the project and hire a whole lot of brand new employees. Next up, find out how well they'd do. All right, onward. Create ex or crate expectations or tests on demand. Let's do crates first. Moving from a garage to a factory presented some unexpected challenges. The building was huge and the parts I needed for my robots were lost in piles of crates. I needed a helping hand to get anything done and I knew how to solve that. All right, so the ones we need are double red. Okay, accept robots that enter with at least one red and one blue. Junk the rest. Uh, okay, so anything that has a triple blue goes to the pile, right? Let's go there. Start with this. Oh, we're getting a bigger grid now, you see? Okay, if we have... Oh, there's also undo. 
control Z as per every other application in Windows. Okay, so we're gonna go blue to the right. If they have three blue, uh, this one needs to be the other one, E. I should probably be better at this. And then, so triple blue goes to the pile, right? Goes to the junker. And the rest can be easy peasy, right? We just, let's not be elegant about this one. We're just chucking them in. Oh, what? What? What, what, what? Uh... Accepted a robot that has... Okay. Oh, because it reads from the beginning of the tape. Of course it does. Uh, all right. So let's junk the entire thing. We'll just chuck this whole thing. So we need to think a little bit more cleverly than apparently I have done. So let's fix this. All right. So... We have to have at least one red and one blue. But I don't understand. I don't I don't understand how that could be. Because if it had a blue, it should have gone on into the blue direction. I shouldn't have deleted all this. I should have learned from my mistakes instead of messing this up. Okay, so blue, 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 and blue. Was this how we had it before? This went into the junker like this? Blue, blue, and blue goes to the junk pile. So how could the other one... Let's watch what happens. Let's go slow. Blue. That one had blue. Can you play it again? Oh, because it was white. Ah, yes, yes, of course it was. Right, I see. Because it did, it, was, it had a white first thing. So if the first one, obviously, this we need to have a, a thingy thingy here. Let's do this. And then that one goes to the junker. And that one can be accepted. Yes, there we go. Run. This is, saves us from... So basically, a nothing robot. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I, you know what? The Catherine is not reading the directions because it does say at least one and one. Okay, so... So, let's go back. Let's figure this out. So, this one, the one that came was red only. And... All right, we can figure... We can fix this. We can fix this. So, what we need to do is junk this thing. And then... We need to come up with this. So if it has blue after the red, it will be accepted. If it has um, white, that is wrong. So that has to be junked, right? Go there to junk. This one, if it has another red, I think we need to figure out how many do they have, though? Zero to 13 thingies on their tape. Holy crap. Uh huh. Uh, all right. Zero to thirteen. That's a lot of them. Holy fuzzy cats. I'm kind of tempted to move this over one. All right. So <clears throat> let's figure this out. Let's just try to make an escape thingy for this, right? So, uh, is there any reason we could do this? No, we could not. All right. It's fine. So, let's go this way and up again. Now then, if... If it has a blue, we want to accept the thing, right? So, if we have blue, we can go down and accept. Okay. If it's red, we need to figure out, again... What's going to happen here? I feel like I'm not clever enough for this at the moment. Uh, white. Oh, hold on. Wait. There, there's got to be a way to do a repeating thingy for this, right? You know what? Let's junk the whole thing. We're, we're going to junk the whole thing. would love a way to just like, like a little explodey thing that would 
delete the entire situation here. Let's go with this. Start with start with the beginning, and when you get to the end, stop. Anybody know where that quote is from? Um, what we can do is this. If we have blue or red, so this is going to be the junker right here, okay? If we have blue or red, hmm, I don't know how to how to make this repeating because at some point it has to check if it has both. Huh. And at some point they're all going to run out of stuff. Huh. So this is is there another chooser decider thingy? Because I do feel like this is almost endless, that it has to be almost endless. So let's see. If it has a. Let's just try this here. So if it has a red, we want to accept. If it has a blue, we need to have another choice. Um, if it is white, we again go to the junk. But there has, is there a way to make this so that it's repeating? Because there's a lot of things to check. You check 13 inputs for this. Hmm. The, the thing is, is... I guess what we do is, okay, there is, there is a way. There is a way. Oh, there is a way. So, if it is, we need to change this. We need to get the other one here. If, ah, I have it now. I think I have it. All right. So, here's what we do. If there's a blue and it ever has a red, then we go to the goal. If not, we keep checking. We keep checking, right? Yes. And if it's a blue followed by a nothing it goes into the crusher yes this is the way to do it okay so this is how we're going to do it and then if it's red and if it keeps being red then we keep recycling it on the belt and then if it ever has a blue it gets recycled and this is a beautiful elegant machine if it works it should there we go yeah there we go Beautiful. What? 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 Okay, we have a blue, red. Okay, red. Ah. Okay. Okay. Okay, we have we have a new we have been shown the error of our ways. What we need to do is move this whole contraption up, okay? That is what I'm going to do now. So that is fine. And then we have our... Let's check this out. That one goes there and there. Okay, and then the other one is there, I believe. No, it's the same one. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Get rid of these, and we have the fire on either side. Yes, good, good. And now we have the robot initiation point there, and then we have the belts. Now, now is where we need to fix this. So, if okay, if it keeps on being red, this is where we need our extra checker bit here. Yeah. There, that one, if it's red, if it's blue, go there. If it is red followed by blue, then we accept. Same, blue followed by red, then we accept. And then we take uh, fire. We need fire. More fire, crusher. Let's go. There we are. But that's equally beautiful, is it not? I think it's lovely. Yeah. Okay, we have processed 2,800. What's wrong with you now? Blue? No! Ah. Uh. Huh. 
Okay. Okay. All right. <sighs> Let's figure out what's going on with this. Okay, so it had red, red, then blue, and then nothing. I don't really know what to do about this, to be perfectly honest. Um, I don't know what to do about this. Obviously, we it worked for quite a few of them, except the one where it has a kabillion thingies in a row. Um, I don't know whether we keep on doing some, like, some thingies or what with that. Because it has to do with the number of, you know, uh, symbols in a row. And, and, and the thing that we have messed up here is we would have had the red followed by blue, but now this chain is now too long. It's both too long and too short. Uh, so I'm not really sure. I I'm actually not sure how to fix this. Um... Because it's like it creates this or a need for an iteration beyond that. Um, let's see. What if we made this halfway? If we did something simpler, like what if we did this and said down left like this does that work no blue and then red and then nothing again no no it did not work no that does not work okay so that doesn't work we know that doesn't does not work okay uh blue I wish there were a way to, like, have a stamp on them or something to say... To say that, well, we have approved a red mark or we've approved a blue mark or something. Because right now, that does not exist. Okay. What, what, what else do we have here? Let, let's figure out... May, maybe we approach this problem from another direction. I don't guarantee that we're going to finish this puzzle before either. I'm actually panicking from YouTuber mode like, Oh my god, I don't know the answer. This is hard. But that's okay. When we don't know the answer, what we do is we learn. Um, and sometimes that may not happen in real-time thinking, as I'm uh, used to doing with Factorio. That's all real-time thinking. But, let's see. These things can have 13 thingies on their tape, right? So... What I'm wondering, there's got to be a way to do a loop with this. Because 13 is way too many to check for on both sides of the situation here. Um... It's really difficult because we can't just like pre-read the tape like a barcode and say, ah, is there a red one and is there a blue one? Uh, it has to read the symbols one at a time. So maybe... So what we're doing is checking for one color and then another. And if it's got the same color multiple times, we do actually have this loop that's checking that. But then if we have not the other color... It goes again, um, because sometimes, see what happens sometimes, this can be red, 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 and then have a, have a blue, then it goes to the right, but then the tape ends, and we have it going to the fire. That is the main problem I'm seeing right now, is that we have this kind of situation 
where ah oh my god the timer is up look at that saved by the phone holy crap um yeah i, I actually don't know what to do with this um because the longer we make these check chains we would have to go to 13 uh if we do it all in one line how many squares do we have we have three four seven times seven we have 49 we actually have 49 of these and that's a lot of squares so we would need 26 to check on both that actually might be possible if we if we do stuff we'd have to very cleverly like fit in these things and that's a pain in the socks in my opinion um I don't know if we have enough squares. Let me just think about this. I wish you could kind of save a state and then come back later and say, oh, wait, you know, I'd rather have the saved machine that I made instead of this new thing I designed. Uh, that would be a lovely, like, uh, maybe you could have, like, several save states. Maybe have a little box on the right or something or down here uh, and say, ah, I have this save state. And then bring it back up obliterating everything on the floor but then you could have multiple save states and like is this one better or is that one better because right now i'm thinking one's got to be better um but right now you see how many checks we have we only have three for each one um and after that it's it would have to be kind of doubled because you do have this kind of thingy thingy yeah, I don't know how to solve this. I'm going to I'm going to say I don't know how to solve this right now. Maybe I'll think of it later, but if you have a solution, do let me know. Um let me know in the comments please or attach a picture or a a grid or something. It could even be on an uh, Excel sheet or something. Uh how you would solve this problem. I'm curious about the loops you would use or uh how how would you do this? Would you manually check through 13 switches to see if you have all the things you need or would you do a loop and how would you do the loop because the problem that we had we did a simple loop of two checks but that did not allow us to check for certain edge cases and we deleted perfectly good robots so anyway we're going to bow to the wisdom of the phone and say Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.